My name is Ben Canonica, and my company is Canonica Landworks. Um, I've been in business for oh, probably 15 years on my own, and I started off initially doing more low impact logging work with uh, draft horses and a small forwarding trailer behind a farm tractor and doing a little bit of excavation work and over the years the excavation work has increased um, so i'm mainly doing excavation work now and then winter months i still work in the woods um, and in the last 10 years i've been focusing on doing river restoration work in the summertime i'm based in chelsea vermont and i work in central vermont and over the border into new hampshire um, and I have traveled within a couple hours of here for various specialized projects. Um, a couple hours doesn't always get you that far in these parts of the country. I have a mixed clientele, um, quite a bit of private landowners, and then I also work for some uh, watershed groups, and they're the ones that typically are hiring me to do the river restoration work. Um, as part of that work, um, we're also working with state and federal agencies as well as nonprofit organizations. So it's quite a uh, varied uh, client base that I work for. Right now, things are very busy and I'm booked almost a year out in advance. Um, I have there's always the potential to add employees, but at the current time, I'm trying to manage by myself and um, be a little bit more choosy in terms of what type of work that I'm interested in doing. Um, more of the forest and improvement work, the trail work, um, and the river restoration work as well. Uh, my first excavator was a Volvo 160B, and about three years ago, I put an uh, NCON setup on there and been running that. And like everyone says, once you have it on one machine, you'll want it on your other ones. And so I have now a Mechalac 10 MCR with a NCON setup, as well as a Mechalac 11 MWR. And the two Mechalacs share all the attachments. And um, in the last year, I bought the TMK 300 tree shear and the multi-grab. I first was interested in the tree shear um, because of the um, wireless aspect of it and um, just the design of it um, with the collector and with the delimmer option. Um, I'd run a grapple saw for a while for doing felling and realize the benefit of being able to grab and cut numerous pieces with the collector um, and I can really see the value in that and the product support has been excellent and anytime I've had questions or concerns it's been taken care of right away. Um, the tree shear I've been working on doing some forest stand improvement, uh, pre-commercial thinning in our hardwood stand and um, we have predominantly sugar maple stand and so we've been thinning out the less desirable stems, uh, making room for the crop trees um, as well as going around our pastures and hay fields and clearing back the edges and I'm looking to get into doing a little bit more trail work, trail clearing with it, as well as um, some roadside um, tree removal and just kind of brush maintenance. With the multi-grab, I've been using it predominantly to uh, load logs um, on the forwarding trailer and then uh, stack them on the landing and um, I've also done a little bit of brush removal with them, just cleaning up the trails. Um, I've only had it through the winter, so I'm looking forward to using it for um, some trail work as well in the summer and doing some clearing projects and whatever else we can dream up. Um, some of the best elements and aspects of the TMK products are 
um, the design, the simplicity, but also the effectiveness and um, the quality of the construction. Um, but to go along with that, the customer support has been uh, top notch and if there's ever any questions, I can get them answered almost immediately and it's very useful to be able to actually get a hold of someone who knows the products and can answer questions. Um, off the top of my head, I can't think of any improvements. Um, we talked about a few ideas today, but um, I think it's great that you're willing and able to listen to customers' feedback. Um, I realize you're you know, somewhat of a new company, so I think that's a very important aspect to you know, listen to people who are using the products in the field and you know, take that information and put it towards making changes or not making changes um, and moving forward and continuing to make the business stronger. I guess touching on the, um, the specific um, attachments and investment in equipment. Um, early on in my business, I was a little bit adverse to having any debt or spending money on a lot of um, you know, higher tech equipment. But as I got further into business and realized the value and the efficiency that some, that some of that um, investment can return to you, it became evident that those were good business decisions and um, with the labor issues that we're now seeing all around us, it became even more clear that those were a good investment to have the specialized attachments and to be able to cut down on your labor, but to be able to do more with one machine, um, you know, cutting down on your wear and tear or your undercarriage by using a tilt rotator because you can do so much more in one spot and also I have tried to put myself in a position where I have bought um, different equipment than other people are using in my general area um, to be able to offer specialty services and um, kind of set yourself aside from the competition.